Hello, I'm Connie from Connie's Crazy World, and I am super excited to announce that I am going to join in with the Three Rivers um, Pantry Challenge for January and February. I am going to have to um, buy some items because I don't have ducks or eggs coming from chickens. Um, I do have a pretty well packed freezer. I did not, I am just starting to can items and um, store my own food. But as you're going to see in a minute, my current pantry is overflowing. I need to eat stuff out of it um, and I need to do it soon. So I am going to have to get stuff like eggs, butter, um, dairy. Um, some produce i'll probably need to get some potatoes and carrots and stuff like that but i really want to focus on you know staying i really want to stay under 20 dollars, but i think 30 dollars a week is more realistic um but i'm going to try for that 20 dollars. um i do if you, i do have a few things on my grocery list right now um of things i need um, so I might pick them up this weekend and see because I like to have applesauce instead of eggs. A lot of times I um, substitute them on my recipes, pumpkin seeds, raisins, dried cherries. Them are all for, oh, I'll show you. I made this day before work just came out. I made granola bars, um, with my Amish friendship bread starter. I have been nibbling at the sides see how good those look and yeah I'm still good on sunflower seeds but I definitely need some pumpkin seeds um need some more walnuts because that's all I have left right there I'm still good on these these are awesome these are made with stevia make me feel better um I know the recipe oh I'm gonna have to get some more hemp seeds too that's all I have left of my hemp seeds <laughs> um Got lots of coconut flakes. It doesn't call for coconut flakes in the recipe I have, but I added some more stuff to it because I like lots of gook in them. Um, I'm good on honey. I just bought the new honey. So that'll be good. So let me go ahead and take you over to my freezer on the inside, and you'll see one of the issues of areas I need to definitely use up. Okay, welcome to my nightmare. Um, yeah, it's a disaster. It's a bit crazy. This, I normally try to just have this bottom drawer be frozen vegetables and fruit. And the top drawer be like quick breakfast stuff for us. Yeah, um, it's exploded. I mean, I do have lots of good things in here. Like these here are chili mixes I have. Yeah, that's chili. And... Um, that's some bean soup that's frozen. I mean, it's not like it's bad. I got pancakes frozen to be used. It just really needs to get used up. I'm, I don't normally keep meat in here. I don't know why I have meat in here. Um, I got a sale recently on some cheese. So I do have some cheese in here. So that'll be nice not to have to buy cheese for a little bit. But yeah, this definitely has to get cleaned up. Oh, look, there's my yeast down here. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and try not to show you my extremely dirty kitchen at the moment. About three days ago, I canned, done two things of canning of chicken broth, chicken soup. I still have another bowl of chicken broth to do. It'll probably, it's a big enough bowl. It's probably going to give me, I would have said six to seven more quarts, but I have to show you about my what I'm down to. I am down to just pint jars. So yeah, it's going to be it's like two batches of pint jars. Go ahead and finish up the rest of my broth that I did. Okay, and so now the most embarrassing part of all, let me show you my nightmare. I don't even want to do this. 
but I need to record this so that it'll make me do it. Please be gentle in the comments. Please, please, please. Okay, here we go. The pantry. You'll see I've canned some stuff. It's mostly beef and chicken broth down there. I've got some hot salsa that I've done. I got some tomatoes. I did caramelized onions. Got some chicken soup in here. Um, but yeah, I got all my beans up here, dried beans, got some noodles. I did can some potatoes, so that's good. This stuff up here just mostly needs to be organized and gone through. I don't use all of it. I do have my pasta maker there that I haven't been using because I have all this pasta up here. Um, yeah, there's just lots and lots and lots. Um, this wall over here just mostly needs to be organized, but I can't really get in there right now. Um, it has the stuff pretty well in order. Like you see right now, dog food needs to get put in there. This box down here is where I keep my extra flowers and stuff. Um, I've got bread flour, regular flour, extra sugar down there, some extra rice, some extra beans to keep the nasty stuff out. I have some potatoes, sweet potatoes and stuff down there that need to be used up, but my canned goods, they are in racks, but they're not necessarily with their friends. Um, so yeah, since this is such a disaster, I have not been able to put my latest canned goods, things I've been jarring. Um, I've been trying to do one pressure cooker a week, trying to stay off and dock. Yes. I know you're a friend on Facebook with me. I know you're going to find this. Yes, I've been trying to stay off my feet. Doesn't always work. Once or twice a week, I'll get the stuff ready and then start my pressure cooker. But it's not really been as bad as you think. I do only stuff for a half hour at a time, I promise. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> she's going to be all over me. She's going to love that. Um, but yeah, so I've actually really started doing some of the stuff already. I do have a big, huge roast going in here. I need to get um, my onions and carrots. And I saw out in my garden, let me see if I can get you over there. Out in my garden, I see some cabbages that are now in person, I can see. And I'm gonna go check those later in a little bit and see if any of the heads are still held. For some reason, I didn't pick them right away before this, so I can put one or two in my roast today. So yeah, that sounds good. And so this is my last piece of embarrassment. Boom. Um, these are all the things I've been canning. I've got chicken soup. I've got chicken salsa verde. I've got some bean soup, caramelized onions. I've got potatoes back here. Um, oh, more caramelized onions. Oh, and I've got beans. These are black beans. I've got some chili beans back here. Oh yeah, one of the other good things I did. Oh, that's more caramelized onions. They're all the way back here. Is my cranberry sauce. I had a whole bunch of cranberry sauce, so I went ahead and made it up and canned it. I think I'm going to put some more of that over a pork loin here sometime soon. Sounds delicious. I also have some pinto beans back here, chili beans. Yeah, just a whole bunch of good stuff. Okay, so that is my little tour, um, what I'm planning. I'm going to watch some more videos from last year and see how Three Rivers does their planning because I really have to plan. I've got to figure out, I don't know, maybe I'll just pull out something every week. Like on Sunday, I'm going to try to meal prep too, which is good for me because it keeps me going. And 
pull out a couple things and say, okay, these have to be used this week. How am I going to do something with them? So that's kind of what my plan is. Um, try to get three or four things out of my pantry every week. Um, I didn't show you my outside freezer, but we did just recently get a fourth of um, cow from my friend Tony. Um, actually split a half one with my mom and dad. And I've got lots of beef out there. I have some chicken, some pork, not tons of either. I do also have some other items out there that are not, that are more plant-based. I have some plant-based patties that I really like. Um, I've got a couple containers of fruits and vegetables. I did bag up a lot of corn this year. Okay, just also full extra, ex, la, 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 full, just letting you know, I have not figured out very well how to edit videos. So yes, you are seeing me stop and move from one place to the other because this is all one video because I don't have the skills yet. <laughs> I will get them though. Oh, so I didn't show you my outside freezer. Let me go take you there. Okay, this is my outside freezer. Um, you'll see I've got these cool little things that I've got. This is all vegetables. Don't know why I didn't take the tag off. This one here is also vegetables. This is where I have a lot of corn frozen up. Take it out frozen. I run it under water, stick it, wrap a paper towel around it, stick it in the microwave for five minutes and they're gorgeous. Mom and I made pasties early this year or maybe it was last. Cooked some of those up just the other day and they're delicious. This is all the chicken I have left. It's mostly thighs. Um, over here is my pork. I got some pork from the local guy. And so, and then I got some bacon on sale, save a lot when they're doing their coupons. Um, down here is all my beef, a couple things of popsicles. I got all my steaks in here. I got um, stew meat, ribs, um, cube steaks. Down in this one, definitely needs to look up. Look at these. Oh my God. I love these though. These are noodles with all the vegetables in them. So I got some more prepackaged meals. I got more hamburger here. I got more hamburger behind these also. Um, down here are more vegetables. My dad loves to cut up vegetables. And so I always have him cutting up vegetables for me and stick them in the freezer. Um, I already have some meatloaf ready to go, a couple containers. Super excited. My girls got me some glass meat containers for meatloaf. Um, all of my fruit is on the wall. Um, along with a thing of fish. Bags of broth. I am definitely trying to get rid of those. I'm liking canning broth much better. Because... Does, I don't have a ton of space. This is really my only freezer. So, yeah. So, like I said, I'm... Whoa, I got my interest tree behind me. My big goal is to try to stay under $20. But realistically, I'm thinking it's going to be about $30 a week for mostly dairy and produce. Because um, cuties are about ready to come in season and they're my favorite. Um, but, yeah. Um, so my real, real goal is like trying to stay right around a hundred dollars a month, um, 120. So I'll let you know when I go to the store, I'll show you what I get. I've never done anything like this before. So any suggestions help? I wish I had more of my own stuff processed, but I need to clean that pantry. You saw how bad it was. I know. But it's going to be a new year and we're going to go ahead and get it right. And we're going to start working it down and getting in there. The good stuff without preservatives that I grow myself and 
I'm excited. I hope you're excited for the journey with me. And thanks for coming along. And I have to do the please like, please subscribe, because this is going to be one quite crazy adventure. And especially with me planning the end of January, 1st of July-ish, going down to Florida. Um, I'm not sure how this is all going to work. Now that I think about it. Oh, when we'll worry about when we get to it. Maybe we'll skip March. I mean, February and go to March. Or maybe I'll just figure out what we're going to eat and take a whole bunch of stuff with me. We're driving, so I can do that. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye.